Hello, my name is Matt and welcome back to Seri Kings 2 O'Neill campaign papacy Sons of Abraham thing. We are in the middle of being attacked by this large host war, Army of Rowan, which was a guy in Ossery who wants to take Kingdom of Tara for himself. And I just lost a battle, that means that is why I have this minus 44% score. Not really sure why only these two counties are highlighted. I think that probably means he's only going to take these two counties, but I'm not sure. Let's see actually. Offer peace, surrender. No, he gains the whole kingdom of Tara. Yeah, he definitely does that. But if I win, I imprison him and he loses the claim. So I'm going to get this army back up to Tyrone and then get the uh, Jewish money in to help me. Uh, yeah, get the Jewish money in. That should give me enough money to get enough mercenaries to fight him off. 371 monies, and uh, let's get some good mercenaries in. These mercenaries should do, I think. What's the difference between these? Again, gain 450 light cavalry, or just have 900 pikemen. Uh, I'm gonna have the light cavalry, I think. Cavalry is good. Okay, 3,043 3, troops against 1,527 should be good. So let's go down. I should get enough morale by the time I'm down there but to attack him. Yeah, he's running away. I think I should be able to beat this army. Let's just take back Kildare for myself quickly. What's this? The Chancellor of Connacht has got a claim for his. Chancellor of Connacht. Oh, yeah, he is the Chancellor and he's got a claim for the this guy of Connacht on my holding doesn't say what just the title that I have probably brief me oh no he's done it he's he's got he's he has got a claim for something does it say what yeah oh can you kill there strange why has he done that I would have thought he wanted to brief me to get duchy but apparently not strange Okay, so let's just take this back, and then I shall attack his army in brief knee, and then I should win this war pretty quickly. One, kill his armies. More than enough troops to kill him off. What's this? The Queen of Glacier is my wife. Not my wife, my daughter. Why? He was not Glacier, was he? He was. Well, he was uh, Castile, so now he's the King Glacier. And who's the King Castile? Him! Right, where's Glacier? Glacier is here. Oh, he's on his own. So we have the Kingdom of Castile and Glacier, now he only has the Kingdom of Castile. of Glacier, what am I saying? But he has a strong claim on the Kingdom of Castile. Oh dear, he sucks. <laughs> and he was in. My my daughter was in the uh, pr the prison of someone, I forgot who, but now she's out. That's what came up. Fifteen percent of him. Kills armies again, and now I should have one percent. Good. And now get him to fuck off. <laughs> He's in my prison, and I shall banish him and gain all his gold. That's definitely what I'll do. <laughs> wow, five hundred. 19 gold, that's more than enough to pay back the Jews and a bit more to do some more things in my petty kingdom. You are a tool, my man. He'll probably get some more troops in to try and take me again, actually. That was probably, that probably wasn't a good idea. Oh well. Get rid of those troops, pay back the Jews. Still have a lot of money, and I need to give away one of these counties. Not really sure which one to give away though. Hmm. I don't have anyone who is like my siblings or anything, so they're all just kinsmen. I don't think I have like cousins or anything. Because I'm a really far relative of all these people. Far removed relative. Uh, yeah, this guy is just kinsman as well. 
I guess I'll give my son a county. Let's give him Kildare. Cool, so my son now owns Kildare and because he's my heir he'll own all these counties again when he becomes me, when I become him or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, do this and let's get let's keep levy keep level two it gives me a bit more levy size and I lose lots of money but I don't care more levy size is more important than money at the moment and hopefully I'll get a claim on Connacht soon let's see how these are doing oh yes I remember now he became that guy I was in the midst of doing all these wars that I forgot about all this right, let's get this to become an heir of and dynasty and stuff. Right, all these shall be him. He shall be the heir of all these because he's the only guy who's my dynasty. So he will be one of these guys at some point. If one of these guys dies, he will take over. And he is part of my dynasty, so that's good. Right, this is the guy I'm going to groom to become the, the Pope somehow. Not really sure how. Let's Hmm. Let's see what five six five. I think he's too young to get enough score yet. He oh, if I make him a court chaplain, then I'll get him more more learning. And if I put him there, then that will give him even more learning. But for that doesn't really affect him at all actually so <laughs> cool but I, bleh, by putting him in Rome does not give him more learning at all it actually <laughs> gives him more oh crap claim on Connor it gives him more um, color appointment score and the Pope likes him more okay lack of funds that's not good but I should get that money back soon probably should have waited until he got more money to do that but claim on Connacht is a claim on Connacht so I don't need him to get any more claims because I'll have to draw claims on all this once I get to the Kingdom of Ireland. So I'm going to make him... Hmm, what should I do? I can make him improve diplomatic relations with someone over here. That might make them help me in wars. Oh, let's go to this. What's this? Oh crap, that wasn't what I wanted. Damn it! All right, I'm just gonna leave him there for a bit then. <laughs> I could make him like him, like make him like me more, and thus that would hopefully mean that he'll marry one of my daughters. I don't know. Let's see if he'll marry one of my daughters. No, why not? The child would be a hostage in a foreign power. Oh, educate. I see. That was the wrong thing. That's why. Not really, no, obviously not. Why not? Because he must not marry an infidel, obviously. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we're just waiting for my money to go back up, and hopefully this to go away. Who is this? Bishop Fianchini? Fianchini. What's this? Oh, he's got him to like me. Good. <laughs> not that I really care too much. Um. What could I do to that would help? Hmm. I could get claims on like Wales or something. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna get claims on Wales. Let's just move this and move this back. Okay, claim on Gwent first of all, because that's where I come from. That's where I am right now. I'm back home. If I hadn't told you already, <laughs> I'm back home in Wales, doing this on my bed for three hours. That's also why I'm doing these uh, three, this three hour long session, which I am in the second hour of right now. Because I am back home and it takes ages for me to upload things, I'm just going to upload loads of videos at the start, so I don't have to worry about that, because it takes like half a day to upload one video, so <laughs> if I upload six videos in three days, that's that's good, like the next three days I'll be uploading constantly. <laughs> pretty much so yeah 
but then I won't have to worry about that in the next three weeks, so that's good for me. And you'll still get be getting the videos, and they'll still be interesting, hopefully. Anyway, this guy has five, eight, nine troops. I have eight, nine hundred troops, so I have more than enough troops. I'm gonna wait until this guy gets back down to zero, and I'll probably have a lot more troops, and I'll mean this gets taken a lot quicker. What's this? Mayor Art has arrested a man, an armed man with a ra with ragged armor and a spotty horse. He says that the man claims to be a head knight, but clearly clearly does not believe that statement. Order the head knight released. I gain five party and Mayor Art's opinion. Is that that guy? No, it's not good. He dislikes me twenty for sixty months. <laughs> That's a lot of months. That's five years. Wow, so my marshal dislikes me. Oh, he is clearly a bandit and I gain 10 prestige. He gains 10 prestige and I lose 5 prestige. I'd rather him not dislike me for 5 years, so I'm going to say he is clearly a bandit. Good. I do not believe that he is a head knight as well. A son was born to him, who was the guy that tried to kill me. Not the guy who tried to kill me, the guy who tried to take my um my whole kingdom so why does it why is it telling me that he's got a son he's got a strong claim on the kingdom on the county of oratory does that mean he'll have a claim on kingdom of tara i don't know oh is he he was possibly the guy who owned kildare maybe But now he owns the county of Osri. Hmm. Interesting. Right. But I don't think that guy who just came up has anything to do with that. So I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know. I don't think he's the guy that owned Kildare. Let's see. Kildare history. Him. No. No, he does not own it. But he is underneath Elzari. Is he the same guy? Delbert. No, because he's part of my dynasty. And he seems to have the same wife, but she, he doesn't actually. She's slightly different. Okay. Totally different people. I'm sorry for getting mixed up. They all look the same to me. You know they don't. Okay, so we have a claim on Connacht. And this is nearly at zero. Minus four. You know what? I don't give a fuck anymore. I have more than enough people to attack Connect, so I'm just going to attack Connect. Off of vassalization, first of all, I always do this. He, if I give him some money, he'll probably accept, but I don't care, I'm just going to attack him, claim Connect, and then I'll get the Kingdom of Ireland for myself. <laughs> EU4 is £9.99, humble store. Wow, I'm going to do that. Cool. Okay. Bloody Jake ruining my episodes. Okay. How many troops do I have? 1053. <laughs> I was going to uh, do all the maths myself, but I didn't. Okay. Attack this guy. Gain a war score. All the war score I can from his armies as usual, and then just take an act to myself. Well, I don't know, when you're attacking one county, and that's all the counties they have, then it doesn't really matter so much to attack the armies and gain as much war score as you can. Because as soon as you take the county, like, a little bit, they lose as much army as they... They lose, um, levies each time you take a little bit of the county, because they can't gain levies from that part of the county that they have. So each time you take a county, they can't raise as much levies, so they lose power, so you gain war score that way. And if you gain the whole county, then you'll get 100% war score from that, because they only have that one county. So there's no way they can fight back unless they gain. They have enough money to get the mercenaries, which they never seem to do. So when there's only one county, there's you don't need to follow their armies too much. But it's, it's a good practice to get into, I guess. Uh, who's this? My daughter is now of legal age, another one of my daughters, so you shall marry someone good as well. That was weird, well. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Petty King of Wessex. Duke of Leon. Uh, you can marry the Duke of Leon because I already have somebody marrying someone down in Spain, so Leon is good. Duke of Leon. Is that this whole thing? No, that's Viscaya. So, Duke of Leon. Who's that? Is that this guy? Yeah, this guy. No, that's King of Mysterious. What am I saying? So, where's Leon? Leon. This is. It just was. Mm, no, no, it wasn't. Count Lewis of Viscaya. So he, he's a count, but owns these four counties. So who's, who was the guy I just married off my daughter to? Duke of Leon. No one. No one at all. This guy, Duke Garcia of Leon. He is underneath Asturias. So this guy, this is the guy I married my daughter off to. Right. Cool. Oh crap, some, some Norse people are coming into rage to our canal. Oh well, not really that important. I can't do really much. I'll just get some money and leave, hopefully. I'll maybe attack them if they're still there by the time I finish this. Cool, the Pope likes me more. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, what was I doing with this? Getting, oh yeah, getting claims on Gwent. Good. Any of these need to be done? No, 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 no. I could research common tech. It's more useful than prep taxes because I already have quite a lot of taxes going. What does that actually do? It gives me a local tax modifier plus 37.5 and I can gain those events that pop up saying I get money off, off people or something, but I'm going to research economy tech. Can I only do that in my counties? I didn't know that. I thought I could do it anywhere. Let's just research economy tech in there. Then that should gain me more uh, tax income in the long run, because that will give me more economy tech here, and then I can gain more tax income using these things. What's this? The, oh, the Desmond can be brought in to help me with this war against an act. Cool. Why is that? Why does he want to come in to help me? Why is he my ally? More to the point. I don't understand. Dear, dear mate's daughter. Brother. Dear mate's daughter. Abin's brother in law. So my daughter. Abin's brother-in-law. So his brother... Is that guy? Right, okay, interesting. <laughs> right, that was strange. Why is... Why is there an Irish... Why is that? Hmm. Why is, does his brother own Desmond, or why does his brother own Castile? That's just strange. Don't really understand that, but come on, help me, please. That would be very useful. Okay, how much money do, you think, do we think we'll need to take? What's this? What? Why has he left my court? Oh man. Let's try and find him back. Try and get him back. You, courtier of Middlesex, why have you left my court? If, what? You've become the Bishop of St. Paul's? What? Apparently you're just a courtier, why are you the Bishop now? Oh man. Oh well, let's try and get someone else. Okay, I'll be back in a second when I find a different diplomacy guy to be in my court. Guy. No. Why not? That's why. Okay. Uh, courtier in Salerno. You. No. Why not? 
Of off now, yeah. Let's see if he wants to come and tell me. No, <laughs> chance, 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 chance. Call to you. Go, please. Come on. Three. Send gifts. No, 20 goals on the match. Come on. Still no. Damn it. I need one more likes from him. Yeah. Mm Okay, I found someone. Antonio Dalfridi. Him. Where was he from before? He was in Italy, so now he is part of my court. Uh, so he shall be my new chancellor. He only has 18, which is not too great, but does he have. Yes, so he'll actually have 19. It's better than, uh, better than what I had before, is 13. Okay. Let's continue trying to get a claim on Gwent and trying to take Connacht. And he has. What's this? Is this surrender? We surrender, yes. Okay, so I gain Connacht, I gain some prestige, and he loses prestige, except obviously. Cool, that means I can create the Kingdom of Ireland! Yes, okay. And the Duchy of uh, Connacht, which is not as important at the moment. What's this? I can. Huh? Well, he's coming in to try and take Connacht as well. The Earl of Thomond is wanting to, wanted to take Connacht from him, but now he's in the war against me. You can try and help me, please. Yeah, I'll be able to fight off this guy, it'll be fine. Damn it, he doesn't want to help me. Please win. Come on, army, you shall win. Yes, we are winning. We have three people on the end as one. Got the Pope likes some more. Let's just get a white piece of them out. Maybe not. I don't really want to spend my time fighting off this guy. Oh, what? Carrick. The Earl of Carrick is coming to help. Come on, white piece out. White piece out. Okay, we'll just fight off this army as well, and that should bring the war score up to as much percent as I need. Come on, boots, beat his army. Marvelous. Come on, morale. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that was very close. No, he lost that. <laughs> okay, come on, white piece out. Still no white piecing out. I just want to create the Kingdom of Ireland. I don't care about this war. I'm going to take you back anyway. Work peace. Still no. What will happen is that happens. I gain 60 gold and he loses the claim. But it's not really. I just don't care about that. So I just want him to stop wanting it. So I can just. Uh, come on, work peace. 20%. Come on. Still no. Why not? I'm winning the war. No, you're not. <laughs> How are you winning the war? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're an idiot, is what you are. Oh crap, what am I doing? <laughs> my mouse just fell off the table. <laughs> okay, well, not the table, the little book that it's resting on, on my bed. Because I'm sat on my bed, because I'm cool like that. Oh, what? 
What is he doing now? He wants to come in and take... Oh, he's Conquest Rolster again. But hopefully mean the Pope will help. Oh, come on. Why not? Okay, let's get let's get all my armies up. How many troops this guy got? Seven, eight, four. I have five hundred and one plus this about five hundred and seventy-six exactly. Which I can't get up yet. But hopefully I should have enough. Hopefully the Pope will help me. And that'll mean that I'll be able to create the Kingdom of Ireland with the money that the Pope gives me, hopefully. <laughs> That should be very good, if that happens again. Come on, how many troops do I have now? 723. Not too great, really. I can probably get the Jews to give me some money. I should really wait until I have all my troops back before I start doing wars. Because this is what happens, you know? Other people just I think I have little troops, so they just attack me, and attack me, and attack me, and it just gets all out of hand. Come on, 39%, white peace. You're not winning the war. 20, 30%, come on. Still no. You are not winning the war, I tell you. 1,506, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna leave him for the while. Because that will go up every time that he doesn't have my county of connect under his control slightly. It'll go up by one, like, slowly. Doesn't really say how quickly, but it'll go up slowly by one. So that's good. So hopefully I'll get it to like 40% soon so then I can just say, bugger off. You are not winning. Gain this amount of troops that'll bring my army up to about 2,223 exactly. And then, and I should still have plus income. Apparently, I have plus seven. Oh, that's not true, is it? I actually, come on. Okay, still have that amount of troops. Money's coming in, apparently. Come on, beat his armies. Okay. Right, so after I've beaten this army to the ground, which is what's going to happen, obviously. Come on, don't lose, good. I should really wait until my morale is up. Once I've done this, I'm going to create the Kingdom of Ireland and then take the whole of Ireland. And that will mean that I'll have a lot better chance of getting my dynasty into the papacy. I can probably make like the Duchy of Ulster Prince Bishopric or something. <laughs> that will mean he's got lots of power and then that will also mean that he'll have more chance of getting into the papacy or something. White peace. Oh man. I should just take that county slightly but I can't be bothered right now. How much money does this actually cost? 321 gold. 0.6 gold, sorry. That's a lot. Let's see how this is going. No one in the Kingdom of Tara there. 708, awesome! Wow, why is that? I just clicked off, that's why. Why has he got so much? 171 opinion, 70 age, 20, 260 opinion of lieges. He's in Rome, learning plus 26, piety. Where's the virtues there? Okay, so if I put more money in this, after I get the Kingdom of Ireland, I think, then he'll get a lot of money, a lot of points, so hopefully he'll get into the papacy. But he's not actually like my son or anything, he's just a kinsman. No, give Prince Bishop Conaig a chance, please. How good is he, actually? 18, but no, give him a chance. I want him to get their 100 points for being in um, Ireland. Come on. 